Now this is a film definitely worth checking out and it's going to make you guys think a lot about life in general. Don't Look Up is a movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence and in this Leo and Jen are astronomers that discover this comet that's hurling towards Earth that's a world ender. It's going to devastate and decimate the Earth if it makes contact in six months time. So they try and find a way to get this information off to the president, to the press, to anybody that will listen. If six months time, what are they going to do with this time before impact and how is this asteroid going to get handled? So we basically go on a ride of seeing how things play out between the press and the media and politics and economics and all these factors come in of how this comet is going to be handled. It's just crazy. It makes you think, guys. This movie really makes you think, really think, what would life be like for us if that was happening? Would there be different opposing interests at hand? of how to handle this asteroid. Would people even take it seriously? Definitely there's gonna be those people that you know don't believe the moon landing was real. They believe the New World Order is in effect. They believe all that stuff. The conspiracy theorists, they're gonna believe it's also fake. They're not gonna believe in an asteroid coming towards Earth, a comet that's gonna destroy everything, a world ender. There's gonna be that faction. There's gonna be people that are super hyped and excited for it. The end of the world, they're gonna be excited for it. There's gonna be looters. There's going to be people that are just devastated and don't believe it. And there's going to be the indifferent, the people that don't think anything's going to happen. They don't really believe it's their problem until it's on their doorstep. And there's people that are going to try and profit off of it. Always there's going to be people that try and profit off of it. And it's just interesting. They have all those different takes in this film, guys. We see all these different takes. I got to talk about the cast, guys. This thing is star-studded. We got people like Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Blanchett. Tyler Perry, Ariana Grande, Scott Miscuddy, Ron Perlman, Meryl Streep. The list goes on and on. I mean, this is a star-studded film, guys. And they all play their parts to perfection. The acting is so well done. This movie is a lot of fun. And it's big in part because of the acting, guys. The acting is done really, really well. The story is a lot of fun, too. It's a satire, guys. And it's playing on all the things that we have in society. It's hitting so many different topics. It's crazy in this movie. Things like economics, greed, politics, social media. They have a company called Bash in this, which is pretty much like Google, predicting our desires, seeing everything that we do, knowing all of our search history, to the point where in the movie they say they know how we're gonna die even based on everything else that we've done. They can surmise the time that we die and how we die. That's how accurate their information is on us. And it's just crazy, guys, because it plays into everything that we have as a society today. Everything that's going on with us right now. And it's just a very fun movie. It's a comedy, and it's fun, and it's interesting. It's a funny little satire view on how things would play out if it was happening in today's society with all the technology, politics, greed, all the things that we have going on right now in today's time. It was pretty accurate of a display of how things would play out. There's a scene where there's a family dinner in the movie, and that's a beautiful moment, guys. The things that are discussed and the things that are said, it's a beautiful, beautiful moment on screen, and it's just such a beautiful display of how we should really be appreciative of everything we have in our lives. And no matter who you are, there's something you can be appreciative of and that you should be, guys, because we don't have infinite time here on this planet, so we got to make sure that we're grateful for the things we have in our lives. I give this movie a creme de la out of a creme de la creme rating. It was a really enjoyable movie. I had a fun time watching it. It's two hours and 20 minutes on Netflix and it's definitely worth a view guys. It's fun for sure. It's not the greatest movie I've ever seen but the cast made it very enjoyable and it's a funny satire on just so many different elements of life. Let me know what you guys think of this movie. Are you guys excited for it? If you've seen it, I want to know what you guys think of it. If you watch it after this review, I want you guys to come back and comment and tell me what you guys thought of it because I'm curious to know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content and reviews, and I'll catch you on the next According to Ash.